Hello again, folks. I was thinking these days of a story that's recorded in the Gospels. Jesus' disciples had been fishing all night. They were professionals who knew where to fish, what to do to be successful, when to put the nets in and pull them out. And yet, had worked all night and still no fish. Now they were washing their nets. They are tired. They want to go home and sleep. Jesus comes along, asks to get into a boat so he can teach the large group of people who've gathered. And when he's done teaching, he speaks to Peter and tells him, Now go out where it is deeper and let your, down your nets to catch some fish. Now, Jesus is a carpenter, not a fisherman. Peter's response to Jesus is probably about the same kind of response we'd have. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. Peter's tired. But the last thing he wants to do is to go out on a fruitless fishing trip again, have to put in the nets, pull out the nets, and wash up the nets again before their long day is over. It really seems pointless to him. It's been enough. But then, even though Peter doesn't even know Jesus all that well yet, there is something about the Lord that has touched him. And so even though he's tired and wants to be done with it all, he says, But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. We all know the end of the story. They caught so many fish, their nets almost broke, and they had to get their partners in the next boat to help them. Well, Lord, help us today to listen to you. We want to be faithful to do the things we should do, but when we run out of ideas, energy, desire, even willingness, please strengthen us to have faith that you have solutions. And if we will just pay attention to what you tell us to do and then do it, we will be blessed to overflowing. You're the Lord. You created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. You know how things work and you can operate in supernatural ways that bring blessing to our ordinary circumstances. We're pausing to do that today, to remember that you are in control. You are with us. You are working. Maybe behind the scenes, out of sight from what we can see, but you are active. As surely as you help people like Peter through his impossible scenario, you are with us today to help us. Come and work your plan in our lives today, we pray. Amen. Well, we may be tired and life may have gotten us down, but let's trust that God has exactly what we need to bless us. And then let's do that today. Have a great day.